Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing one man, one mod, trying to do all the cool things that people can do with immersive engineering and learn along the way. Man, we're taking care of business. Now, as I promised, between the episodes, we got enough hemp uh, farmed up that we could cover our windmill with the sails. And man, already it's spinning a little bit faster. Man, I'm standing here with my engineer's toolbox in my hand. Look at that, man. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's get turned around here and get to work because we've got some things we got to take care of. Now, before we get too far along here, I want to show you something really quick. So I took down the wire that I had connected to this guy. And actually, now that I'm over here, I'm going to break this thing and this guy. I'm going to break these two guys real quick. Yep, that made that fling off, but that's okay. And I just want to put in some cobblestone, just because I think that looks better. Yeah, I think it does. Okay, so let's put our uh, relay back on this piece of cobblestone, and I want to show you something really quick, in case you don't know, because now I will admit there are some things that have been going on uh, with immersive engineering in 1.12 that I wasn't 100% familiar with, but I'm going to show you. So we click on that so we can link our wire just like we did last episode. No worries whatsoever. Let's get down here with my stone pickaxe because I don't really have the resources to make anything better. And then we link it, right? So it's linked together. Everybody's happy. Now the problem is this wire is a bare wire, bare copper wire. So if we go over here, look, ah, yeah, yeah. We're getting shocked because it's a bare wire, right? So the cool thing is there are insulated wires in immersive engineering now. It used to be you made these wires, they didn't shock you, but now they do, which is kind of cool. And these are just the low voltage ones. I would assume the high voltage ones will put the hurting on you, <laughs> that's for sure. So I have a little bit of extra tough fabric that I made. Um, here's the other thing. Uh, there's a couple ways to break these connections. I could just go here and break the relay and it would break the relay off and it would also break the connection. Or I can get my handy dandy wire cutters out and I can just right click, right? And it keeps everything connected, uh, which is sometimes a lot easier, especially if you've got like some crazy relay with stuff running all over the place. I use the wire cutters to cut them off. I think that's a little bit better deal. So let's go down here. Now you can make this insulated wire uh, with immersive engineering in 1.12 and of course that's the version that we're playing so if we go over here and we take a look at insulated wire uh, we have a couple options we can do an LV coil or an MV coil uh, insulated and if we look at that essentially it's four of these LV wire coils with fabric uh, in there as well to, to do all nine crafting things so we go like that we can make two so now we have some insulated wire which is going to be much better because now it shouldn't shock us so if we go back up here and we'll build ourselves up a little stack of blocks again yeah okay and then we're going to run this guy okay from there and then we'll come down All right, and then we can connect this one. Now it's got this like white cover on it, and now it doesn't shock us, right? And that's exactly what we want. Man, we want to be safe around here. We don't want to be like blowing up things. Now I wonder though if we made ourselves like a little mob farm with stuff around. If cows and stuff walked into the the electric fence that we would make out of wire, if they would get, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Processed. That's the word. Okay, so we got our sails on our windmill. We're producing power, but we're not doing anything with it. So we want to do two things. So the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to store excess power, just so we have a little bit of a backlog. And immersive engineering provides for that uh, if you need it. And it's called a capacitor. So, And there's different flavors. Let's take a look here. There's different flavors. There's the LV capacitor, capacitor, MV, HV, and of course creative. We don't know anything about that. But we're going to just make ourselves an LV capacitor. It's pretty simple. Some treated wood, some copper, some lead, redstone, and iron. Um, so between the episodes I also did a significant amount of mining. 
So we have a bunch more ores than we've ever had before. So we just need one lead. I've already got some copper cooking up. Do I have any iron in here? Yeah. Let's get a couple pieces of iron, and then we'll grab a little bit of redstone out of here. So you can see I found some more diamonds, which is good. Uh, yeah, the rest of this is just kind of regular stuff. Some lapis I found, some glowstone. Um, that was from our nether trip, the other episode, though. Okay, so if I go in here, we'll put this piece of lead ore in here. We'll get him smelted up. Got copper in here. We're going to need more copper than this. I should probably... Well, let's take a look and see what our project is beside this capacitor that we're going to do. Now, these capacitors are kind of cool. They'll take power in and they'll store it, and then you can extract it as you need it to. But there's something you've got to do, a special way that you've got to click on the capacitor to extract uh, the power. Um, even though these things are labeled MV, HV, etc., um, you can still collect, connect a LV wire out of any one of these. It's just really how much storage that they hold. I want to say the HVs are like 2 million, maybe 4 million RF. I want to say 4 million. At least that's what they used to be. Okay, but let's make let's just make this little guy. Ah, uh, we didn't get any treated wood, did we? Let's go grab some of that quick. Should have it over here in our wood chest. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so now we should be able to make ourselves an LV capacitor. Okay, bang, just like that. Uh, do we have wire connectors? Let's look in our toolbox. We do have a wire connector, perfect. And we also have a relay, which is also perfect. And we've got stuff. Okay, I think we have everything we need. So I want to sort of get this thing at a somewhat central location. What I was thinking maybe we could do is just replace this block right here this guy that we just put in here I know it's gonna break that but we needed to break it anyway we'll stick this guy in there okay I'm not sure exactly how much uh, he he's gonna be able to hoard, uh, hold so we need to get our engineers hammer now I can never remember I think if we hit hit a side of this thing see how it gets that little thing it's got blue and then this one right there is orange, and then that's back to nothing. This is input. You actually can see it in the tooltip there. Uh, this is input. So if we want to input power into the capacitor, we've got to use it right there. And we're just going to use an L, uh, a connector, a wire connector. And let's get back up here, and we'll do our connection again. Let me see. Can we jump high enough to get on there? No. we got to go a little higher. Let's see. Now can we? Yeah. Okay. And let's come back down. Crazy villagers, man, they're always working. I turned down some of the game sounds. They were a little loud and somewhat a little annoying. Okay, so now you can see that this guy is pulling power into it. So we're storing, and it's got three point, or four, whatever, five uh, kilo uh, immersive flux, or uh, uh, thousands of uh, redstone flux. So we're storing power in this guy. You'll notice that there's no power showing up here on the connector because it's all being put in there, okay? All right, perfect. Now, what I want to do is take my engineer's hammer, and we're going to set up a deal here. And we're going to make sure this is output. So we're inputting power on this side from our windmill, and then we're going to output on this side. And we're going to put ourselves... Oh, we did, well, maybe we have one. Do we have one? Yeah. We're going to output a wire connector. We're going to have to make some more of these guys for sure. Okay, and now you see that this guy has power in it because we're pulling power out. I guess it's maybe, I want to say, maybe it's, I don't know, we'll see when it gets filled. It'll slowly fill up. We need a crazy rainstorm to come rolling around here, and then that would be awesome. <laughs> now, one thing that you can't do is you can't connect a relay uh, to one of these blocks. So, it, a relay can't uh, transmit power. It just allows you to connect essentially wires to it and the wires are transmitting the power, not the relay itself. So you always have to use wire connectors. Um, the other piece is LV wire connectors go with LV wire. Makes sense, right? MV go with MV and on up the chain all the way to high voltage. Okay, so we've got our blast furnace here. We need to, to ramp up our steel production. I've been mining. I've got almost two stacks of iron. I've got like a stack and like 50 couple. So there's a couple things we want to do. And the whole reason that we made this windmill setup is so we can improve the speed. Just because it's an improved blast furnace doesn't mean it's going to be any faster. That's for sure. It's going to be about the same speed. So we want to make a couple things. Let's get in here. And we already know how to make these. But we're going to make a couple of these uh, storage crates. So there's one. 
And I'm going to try to use these where possible instead of, um, I don't want to use uh, regular chests. We're going to use these. We're going to try to stay on top of our uh, hello spinny circle thing. Don't be doing all crazy. There we go. We're back. So we're going to use these. So we're going to use these to output our steel and our uh, slag from our uh, blast furnace there. Now there's these things and they're called heaters, right? Blast furnace preheaters is what they are. Now these are a little expensive. We need an external heater, which is a lot of crazy stuff, right? And then we're gonna need some iron sheet metal, which means we're gonna need some plates and we get four. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sheet metal. And we wanna build two of these because those blast furnaces can support two of these preheaters. And essentially what they do is they use a little bit of power to increase the temperature of the black blast furnace which makes it process materials faster and that's exactly what we want it's already a long process to make steel we don't want to just leave it to be crazy long okay so we got to make some coils let's eat a little something and get ourselves filled back up okay perfect all right so we're gonna probably oh i do have some copper in there which is perfect let's get some iron out of there we need to make sheet metal so we're gonna need to make so how many do we say seven so this makes four so we're gonna need 14 so we're gonna have to do uh, four combined so we're gonna need 16 plates okay <laughs> I had to think there uh, sometimes man when I'm recording math is not my strong suit that's for sure so let's get uh, 16 of these and we'll put those in there our engineering engineering's hammer is getting a little bit low it's going to be able to do about 30 more but that's okay because down down the road we won't need to oh that was me walking on dirt okay so let's make some of these guys and we should be able to make 16 of these guys right perfect so we've got those that we need now we got to work on this heater that means we're going to have to make some more coils so we're going to need how many coils do we have to make? We have to make two because we're making two of these guys. So we need 16 LV wire coils, right? So that means we need uh, 16 copper plates, okay? So let's go and make those. There's 13, 14, 15, 16. And we're going to put these in here and convert them into plates. Our hammer's about broke. And then remember, we take our plates and we put our wire cutters in there and we get string, okay? And then we should be able to go here click on this click on this and we can make these right we should be able to get 16 of those perfect and then we should be able to make our coil so two coils done right there we go perfect now we need uh, copper ingots and a little bit of redstone so how many do we have we might be able to make this I hear like weird noises outside it makes me I think it's me stepping on this dirt but it's making me nervous that's exactly what it is yeah, I think it's like, I always think it's some kind of mob like sneaking up on us. All right, can we make two of these guys? What are we missing? Uh, iron. Okay, so we can make one, and then we need a little bit more iron. So let's get some of our precious, precious iron out of here. Let's get four of those. Spread the warmth is uh, the quest that we just completed. So we can put these guys in there, get those smelted up. That's all good. Now these uh, these external heaters... Man, they're kind of cool. Let's take a look at our manual real quick so we can sort of talk about what those are. So, I think it's maybe tools? No, where is it at? Um, simple machines? External heater. The external heater does exactly what its name implies. It generates thermal energy from flux, so power. When placed next to a normal furnace, this thermal energy will power the furnace, allowing it to smelt without any fuel inside it. Click a side of the heater with a hammer to make it an energy acceptance. Sneak to target the opposing side. The heater will consume 8 flux per tick for each heat unit added. During the initial phase of the furnace, the heater will produce up to 4 units of heat per tick. And then once it gets heated up, it's only going to do 1 to keep it going. Um, even better, while the furnace is at maximum temperature, the heater will consume an additional 24 flux per tick to increase the furnace's processing speed. Yeah, yeah. Will only affect the furnace with a valid input and space in the output slot. Okay. In order to conserve energy, you can apply a redstone signal to the heater to disable that functionality and have it keep the furnace at full heat. 
Okay, okay. So what we can do with an external heater is we can put it on a furnace to speed up the smelting of our of our items, which is probably not a bad idea. We should probably look into doing that. Uh, we might have time in this episode. Is my iron done? Okay, let's do that. And then we should be able to make this other external heater. Yep, there we go. And then we can make our blast furnaces, right? Two of those. Bang. Both of those are done. We're also going to need to make some... Uh, LV wire connector. So that means we're going to have to go in here and get some of our clay. Okay, and we'll turn that into blocks. Uh, let me make sure I understand, remember the recipe. LV, uh, one of these. Okay, yeah, so that's going to be perfect. We have a little bit of copper. Yes, yeah, so we need to make those as well. So let's get those smelted up. And while we're having that happen, we can throw these in there and let them do their deal. What we're going to do, because we have to stay on top of it, as we've said, like every episode for the last like two or three, we're going to go harvest our hemp. We need to make sure that we have all of that. We're staying on top of these farms because we're not even remotely done needing hemp. We're going to need tons. And make sure you're not throwing away your seeds. You're going to need those too. So we'll need those down the road. We might as well just start collecting them now, keeping them around. Let's just grab all these guys up. Soon, soon, pretty soon, we're not going to need to worry about manually farming anything anymore. <laughs> but we're going to get that, get to there pretty soon. It's going to be amazing. All right, let's go in here, and we got to just dump all of this stuff in here. So there's our hemp fiber. Here's all the seeds. We want to make sure we keep all of those. So we're doing pretty good with hemp fiber. Um, not only do we need it, we're going to also put... Uh, we're going to put these guys here because now we've learned that we also need these fabric, tough fabrics to, to insulate our wires so we don't try to electrocute ourselves. I guess we don't need them all the time, but sometimes we do. So let's sleep through the night and then we'll make these. Uh, that will give us enough time to have our connectors or our, these guys smelted up. Perfect. And then we can make a couple more wire connectors. Okay, there we go. Four. Perfect. We're definitely going to have to get some more clay. I have to go on a clay mission before too much longer. Okay, so we've got these preheaters, right? So we can plug one of them in here, like that. Oh, those are cool, right? We can plug the other one in the side. That's what these ports are on the side. And then we're going to put one of our chests here, and we're going to put another chest there. It's cool how they kind of connect, right? It's almost like, you know, they were made for each other. <laughs> Alright, so let's climb up here on a little bit of cobblestone and we've got a so on any immersive engineering machine anytime that there's a orange like dot on it that means that's power input that's where the power comes in anytime you see like a blue dot it's usually an export or an output right so if you've got like a, I don't know like a machine that per like grinds up your ores or something like that um, the blue dot is where the output will come okay so now we've got these things on here and then hopefully, yeah, so it's a hundred a hundred thousand RF is how much that thing holds. Which man, it's not great, but it's also not too bad. Okay. So we have a fence. We're gonna do this. We're gonna stick a fence here like this. And we're gonna stick this guy on there like that. And we're gonna put our relay. Okay. There we go. And now we can do a line from this wire connector here, which is the output into this relay. You'll notice that the relay never gets any power in it. It's all still here because the relay just handles uh, like allowing you to connect multiple wires. So we'll click on here and we'll click there. We'll click on here and we'll click there. All right, and now um, we've pulled, we're pulling power out of this thing. Well, we're still gaining though, right? So we're still positive. That means our windmill is producing more than it's using currently, which is awesome. Okay, so now we should have this thing firing up a little bit more. I put some charcoal in there, so that's awesome. These don't have like a, a GUI, but you can see that they're full of power, which is exactly what we want. Now, we just need to get some iron smelted up, and we can start converting it into steel. So, let's go over here. Yeah, uh, where's my unprocessed ores? Let's get a whole stack, and we'll smelt it. We might need a little bit of coal uh, eight eight coal pieces okay and we'll throw all of this in here 
and we'll just go ahead and do like that and that'll smelt up okay we're out of copper we also want to get a little bit of copper smelted up because I want to make a preheater since we're we're net positive on power coming out of that windmill I think that's gonna be enough is that gonna be enough let me see a heater so we need to make a coil that means we're gonna need eight eight plates to turn into eight wires to give me those and then we're going to need so eight nine ten eleven we're going to need eleven copper i have one currently so let's get uh, ten more okay like that okay now you may be wondering why am i not like just taking all this ore because we keep smelting it like onesie twosie kind of stuff uh the reason we're doing that is because eventually we're going to have the capability to double our ores right so that's one of the things you always want to try to do in modded minecraft you want to find a way to get more from the ores that you mine, and uh, there's definitely a way to do that in immersive engineering and that's a machine called a crusher which is the reason we're making steel because that's going to be the next sort of big build that we're going to do but we've got to stockpile some iron we need lots of copper we need lots of um steel we need iron we need all kinds of stuff right so i think of the crusher like requires nine hoppers so that right there is almost a stack of iron just in hoppers not to mention all the steel that it needs so it's a lot oh i love this little setup it's working like a dream looks really good okay but before we make this preheater or this heater for a furnace what i what i want to do is make sure that we are still net positive on power we got to be a little careful right so this thing is still full those guys are full everybody's happy but i'm not sure if we're going to be able to produce enough rf per tick out of that windmill to run the preheaters and run a heater as well at the same time so before we go all crazy uh, we could probably just grab some iron out of here and start the process grab this stuff it's almost done okay let's at least throw some iron in this thing we also want to see how much uh, charcoal gets used this is getting somewhat annoying we got to get that fixed so if we go here right and we put our iron in the top it's starting to do its deal yeah that feels faster but you can see it's burning through charcoal really quickly yeah no doubt it is that's for sure but it is making steel much faster this is still full how is this guy doing yeah we're pulling power out so these preheaters are using more power than we're currently generating which is not ideal that's for sure i mean we're getting the benefit because we're producing steel it's coming in here right there's our steel ingots automatically being output and then slag is coming out of the backside, which is perfect um, so we're going to have to generate some more power. So uh, I think what we'll do is, I mean, we can make another windmill. Windmills are cool. I love it. We've got tons of uh, hemp that's growing, so we can get the sails on it. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. We will need to make another kinetic dynamo. Yeah, but we we de and so that means that whole heater project that we were going to work on, uh, not a whole lot of reason to do that currently. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're obviously going to need tons more coal uh, or charcoal as well because they're what we do 11 piece of iron well we'll see how much we actually use and then we'll be able to gauge how much we'll get out of a full stack i'm afraid this is going to run out before it's done so uh, do we want to work on another windmill together i mean i think so i mean i think that that's a good expenditure of time i want to try to keep these episodes right around 30 minutes i know like a couple of them uh, the one from yesterday or the day before uh, was coming up on 40 minutes and I've told myself that I don't want to do that I want these episodes to be sort of like bite-sized and easy to consume so that's my plan at least so we're not gonna make uh, the heater yet until we can get some more wind power so we do need to make remember another kinetic dynamo kinetic dynamo so that means we're going to need a coil so we are going to need that copper for sure and we might as well take eight of it one two three take eight of this and this might break my hammer no not quite but it's going to be close so we're going to do that and then we're going to put these guys in there and turn them into wires okay and then we're going to need some sticks do i have any wood in my inventory i have treated wood but i don't want to use that okay all right, let's make some sticks here. 
and then we'll make this guy, make these guys. So we should be able to get eight of those, and then we should be able to make this if we had some iron, which we don't. We have some smelting. Oh, man, it gets on my nerves. <laughs> man, we're burning through resources. I mean, hours and hours of mining, right? Tons of mining went in to making this stuff, and then we're just burning right through it. But that's okay. That's just the way it is. That's the way it's got to be. Okay. So we need to make one of these. Okay. And then we should be able to make the kinetic dynamo. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Now we've got lots of treated wood in here. So let's see if we can remember. Do I have treated sticks anywhere? I don't think so. I think I used all the ones that I had. Not over there. Okay, they would be either here or in the wood chest. So they're not. So we need to make a windmill. Okay. And we can go like this. And we need... So how many? So we need eight of these. Uh, it's 32. So we need 32 sticks. That means... Okay, perfect. 32 sticks. And now can we make our eight of these? We can. Yeah, boy. We're going to use all of our treated wood to get it done, though. Okay, windmill blades, eights. Okay, and then we can go like this, and we can actually make our windmill. Okay. All right. And then we'll have to see if we can make sails for it. So let's get um, some fences. Uh, I think we used oak fences or spruce fences. So let's grab a little bit of spruce wood. Okay, we can go like this. And I don't know if you know this, but you can use whatever sticks you want to. I mean, I guess they all make sticks, right? And let's make some of these. Okay, perfect. We have connectors. We have wire. Okay, now let's go set this thing up. That was pretty quick and easy. So let's go across here. I mean, again, the goal is to make it so we are net positive on power we want to make sure this thing yeah this thing's about empty so we're going to come over here uh, we can come over here maybe on this side i want them to face the same direction here's what we're going to do let's put this down right here and we'll put this guy out here okay so we're going to do the same thing two blocks of cobble and then we'll go over here just so we can make this and then we'll jump up here okay and then we'll go it doesn't even... It's it's kind of cool because you can make them different heights if you want to, right? Maybe we'll make this one not quite as high. Well, let's go down one more. Okay. And then we'll put our piece of uh, cobblestone there. Let's go back another one. And we're going to set our kinetic dynamo just like before, right? Kinetic dynamo goes right there. All right. And then we can break this. And then we can put our windmill on here like so. Okay, he's done. And now we'll take some fall damage. Okay, that's okay. Okay, and then we're going to do... How are we going to send this over there? So we're going to have to do a little something a little, little weird. But that's okay. So we're going to do uh, a connector here. Actually, we're gonna in this one, we're going to do a relay. Do a relay there. Okay, and then we're going to go up. And on the back of our windmill, we're going to put this guy. He's already getting filled with power. Let's do our wire. So we're going to run a wire from there all the way down. Oh, my stone pick. <laughs> we got to make some more iron tools. I can't afford I can't afford it at the moment. Okay, so there's that. And then we could just run this guy directly over to here. Oh, I guess we can't. It has to come into a relay, doesn't it? Okay. That is not ideal. Um, where are we going to put this? Do I have another relay? I'm sure I do in my box because we make eight of those. So you can't connect multiple wires to one of these guys. So what we can do, though, is we can go here. This is probably the easiest way. We'll hit this guy and turn him to input. We'll put a wire connector there, and then we should be able to run this wire from here to there. Okay. Now are we gaining power? We should be. This is probably out. Oh, hello, Enderman. I'm not looking at you. Don't worry. And I'm going to throw... So, oh, yeah, we burned through a ridiculous amount of that stuff. That's for sure. 
Let's put some more iron in here. Oh, be quiet, guy. Let's go sleep through the night, and then we'll come back and check it to make sure we're still power positive, and then we're probably in good shape. Man, I love the fact that we're making steel faster. We got to think of a way to make some charcoal. Uh, we can run wood through the blast furnace that we have to produce charcoal. I mean, so technically we could do it that way if we wanted to, but we can also use nothing that says we can't use some vanilla mechanics to make one of those little like charcoal farms, or uh, you know, we could do whatever. So, and these guys should be good. Now let's take a look and see. Are these guys happy now? Still using power. Oh my goodness, it uses so much. All right, that means we're going to have to make sales. Do we have time in this episode? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we do or not. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Let's go in here and see. We might be able to get it done if we're fast. So, I don't even know if we're going to be able to make enough. Okay, we'll go like that. And we're going to make sales. We need to make some of this. We make 12. And then we can make sales. Oops, no. And we'll go like this. And we can make four. So we can make half that, half of the ones that we need. And I don't know if it makes a difference. I guess we'll find out. I, I almost think that they almost have to all be on there. But if we're going to, we might as well... You can gather up all this stuff, though. That's for sure. It's kind of once you get it sort of grown past those initial stages, and, you've, and they're like these two high blocks, they grow pretty quick. How's this one doing? Yeah, it's doing pretty good. Enderman, don't be causing trouble over there, crazy guy. All right, and now we'll go back up here on our cobblestone. Uh, let's go like right here, so we can sort of get in the front of this thing. Okay. And then we'll get our sails. And just like before, we'll click, 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 click. It does seem to be moving faster. Just with those couple. Maybe we can make a couple more. Yeah, I mean, we're still doing okay for time. If it's a few minutes past the 30-minute mark, it's not the end of the world. Oh, that was that was enough. Oh, no, that means it's probably just out, doesn't it? Okay. Let's go get ourselves some of our... Uh, our... Uh, coke some of this stuff cold coke cold coke we'll put that in there we might as well grab some more iron um, this is all worth it by the way so setting up a steel production have to deal with the power requirements that you need um, it's 100% worth it don't skip on it skimp on any of this stuff you got to make sure you've got power and and steel production and that is the best use of early game power that there possibly is <laughs> so make sure if you're gonna if you're following along if you're kind of building the same things that I am um, that's perfectly fine uh, but if you're if you're doing that make sure that you're you're focusing on let's make some more sticks like that okay sale we need these how many of these can we make 12 so we can make two more right yeah okay yeah, all right, we're good. I mean, that's a little bit better, at least. All right, so we're going to go up here. And let's climb up this crazy thing. And we're going to put coal coke in here and the rest of this iron. Okay. Okay. So coal coke burns a lot, a long, lot longer, right? So it should be better. Let's get our two, no, our two sails. I really want to see if we're power positive on this thing so we're going to go click click you can see it's spinning a little bit faster now that we added that on there it'll be an easy process to get the rest of it we're going to need like a stack or so um, of this stuff now it's still draining if we get the rest of these sales on here though we're going to be good so you can see it's draining but it's really really slow okay so between the episodes i'm going to get enough hemp farmed up to be able to make those other two sales that won't take very long just a few minutes of just hanging around working on other stuff i might do some cleaning up around here while i'm waiting but man we've got steel production rolling right along we've got accelerated steel production which is good we're producing slag um and the only thing that we need to do now i guess we're done right i mean we can put we can and i guess we will uh, you can put one of these chests that we made one of these guys up top there to be able to just load it up with items but i don't have any items to load it up with i don't have enough uh, raw materials i'm i'm literally using everything that i've got just to get us to this point so we got to do some more mining we got to hit the mines i know you guys are probably frustrated about how much mining you have to do that's part of the game 
immersive engineering, at least in the early game, and for a while, is all about iron. <laughs> you need stacks on stacks on stacks of it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for the support on this series. I'm glad you're enjoying it as much as I am. Man, I'm having a good old time. That is for sure and for certain. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my one man, one mod series. Man, power production, windmills, heaters, blast furnaces are online and working like a dream. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.